Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. With two Olympic gold medals, one bronze, and five world championship titles to his name, it would be understandable to wonder what Steven Lopez had left to prove in the world of Taekwondo. But the persistent martial artist still felt the need to compete in his fifth Olympic Games at Rio this past summer. Lopez was ultimately left off the podium, losing in the bronze medal bout. However, he has left the Olympics on his terms as the most decorated American Taekwondo athlete of all time. And here to tell us about how his perseverance has pushed him all his life is Steven Lopez himself. Check it out. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Hi, my name is Steven Lopez. I'm a five-time Olympian, two-time Olympic gold medalist, one-time bronze medalist, and the first part of the first family of Taekwondo. There's so many things that I think one needs to become an Olympic athlete. Uh, perseverance, you know, discipline, self-discipline. Uh, you have to have a dream, you have to be goal-oriented. Um, you have to be somebody that has a short-term memory when it comes to, you know, challenges or things that you didn't accomplish and a long-term memories of, about the things that you do do right. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, think that it's gonna be easy road. Um, and it's not, it's a very difficult road. Um, you just have to be prepared mentally uh, for obstacles and challenges. You know, the reason why we wear helmets and the chest protectors, arm pads, uh, shin pads is to keep the athletes safe in Taekwondo. Uh, it's a full contact sport. Uh, a lot of the kicks that I throw in Taekwondo um, are fancy in, in, in order to score techniques. Uh, but outside of the, I guess, Taekwondo world, I've, there's only been one time that I've had to use Taekwondo in order to defend myself. And, um, it was uh, over before it really started, and, <laughs> and so uh, fortunately I haven't had to use it so many times outside of the Taekwondo world. My father was uh, very strict. I, I grew up in a strict household. Uh, my parents are from Nicaragua, and they immigrated here to the United States. And um, my dad always wanted to try the martial arts, any form of martial arts, but being from Nicaragua, he never had the opportunity to try it. And so, like a lot of parents do, they give the opportunities to their children that they never had. It started with my older brother, then I followed in his footsteps, my younger brother, and finally my sister. And it was a lot of fun. You know, we never had these aspirations of being world champions or, or Olympians when you're five or six years old. You just out there having fun, yelling, punching, kicking, doing rolls and jumps. And so um, we let out all that energy and did all that stuff at the Taekwondo school. But once we got home, if we tried to get too crazy, my dad had an iron fist on us and my mom as well. I had to be careful with my mom more than I did with my dad. I've gone to five Olympic games. That's, that's incredible. And I don't think I would have been able to do it if my siblings weren't there alongside me, who not only my siblings, but they're my teammates. Thank God I uh, have the luxury of just being able to focus on strictly training. I don't have a, a second job or a day job, if you will. Um, I've been able, because of my successes in the sport, you know, through sponsorships and through endorsements, been able to just focus on, on training. And it's a, a huge luxury. Um, I know a lot of Olympic athletes in the United States don't have that luxury because it's very difficult to follow your, your dreams of being an Olympic athlete in this country because it's all private. You know, it's all uh, private donations or sponsorships and it's not subsidized by the government like it is in other countries where in other countries, that's your job. You get paid to train, you get paid to compete. And here in the United States, it's, it's all, you know, private or just, you know, people who are able to sponsor you or endorse you and, and believe in your goals and in your dreams. Thank you.